Ladies and gentlemen, Blake Lively. Thank you guys, thank you Salma. You, you are a role model in, in every facet of your life. She's the best mama and wife and leader and boss and producer and actress and I just, I, I wanna, I'm gonna be her every day. So thank you Salma. Um, and thank you to Variety uh, for not only honoring and acknowledging women, but acknowledging the issues that, that we all need to be talking about. It's, I, I'm just so grateful to be in the company of, of all of the women being honored here today. Um, so I'm here today because I'm a mama and I have two baby girls. Well, they're not babies, but I think they are. Uh, James and Inez, and they are my world. And I would do anything to protect them. I would literally die for them with, without a, a moment's thought. And for those of you who have children, I think you know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you, if you think of what you would do for your child, there's, I don't think there's anything you wouldn't ask of yourself. So it got me thinking, you know, what is the value of a single child's life? And what is the value of a child's life who, who isn't our own? Like, what is her little life worth or his little life worth, you know? And, and the sexual exploitation of, of children is something that um, isn't happening rarely. It's, it's not happening worlds away. It's happening right here and right now. Um, so to show you guys that, while I'm talking, there's a map right here. And if you guys look up at this map, um, every time a dot shows up, is it live? What's happening? Hmm, oh, there you go, there you go, now they have it live. So every time a dot shows up, that is um, someone that's trading or viewing child pornography right now as we speak. So that's, that's how prevalent this is. And um, I didn't really know what child pornography was, you know, we all sort of have an idea of it, and I was afraid to ask as, as, a, as a mother, you know, because it would be very painful to, to hear. And um, I felt like I had to ask though, and I feel like I have to share it with you guys now, and it's, it, is, um, it is disturbing, and I want to warn you, but I, I feel it's my responsibility to tell you guys because it is the truth, and I believe if we all knew this, um, we would dedicate much more of ourselves to, to stopping it. Um, so when I, when I asked what child pornography entailed, yes, it's, it's nude images of, of boys and girls uh, under the age of 18. Um, but now, because of high-speed internet, it's also videos, very prominently. And uh, videos of kids, and by kids I mean prepubescent, visibly prepubescent. And uh, they make the distinction because, um, because of the internet and there's so much content, uh, these pedophiles are desensitized. Because of that, the kids are getting younger and the content is getting that much more devastating. So when this law enforcement officer told me this, I, I asked him how young are, are the young kids he's seeing, and he told me infants. And I, I have a six month old baby. So I said, what does that mean, you know? Like, what, what does an infant mean? And he said, with the umbilical cord still attached. I know it's so devastating to hear this, and I'm really sorry to share this, and I, but I'm grateful that you guys are listening because this is actually happening, and it's important that we, we know this and that, that it resonates with us so that we think about this in, 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 in our days and in our personal life. Um, so I asked them what happens in these videos, and you know, unspeakable things happen, but I'm, again, going to speak about them because I feel like if these kids are experiencing this, the least that, that they deserve is for us to hear what, what is actually happening to them. Um, so, no, it's not just touching, there is, there is penetration, um, there is extreme torture and bondage, there is bestiality, which is having an animal penetrate the child or infant, um, there is incest, I mean, they said you, you think of it, uh, anything you could think of, it's out there and it's being traded, and it's 30 to 50 million files a day being traded that we know of. I mean, you can see what's happening right now. And, and this is happening to any child and every child. Uh, you know, 90% of children know their abusers. So, um, you know, our children are at risk. You, you, you may know this person. It may be a doctor. It may be a coach. Um, you know, I, I, I thought that... Um, I thought that people that were working with children were people that wanted to protect them. But um, 
oftentimes these people um, who have this propensity for um, for wanting to lure children and they, they, they find out a profession that gives them access to children and, and, and lots of them. And ideal um, victims are young children because they can't speak up uh, and they don't make great witnesses if they do. Only 10% of children actually do speak up uh, once they've been abused. So what's incredible about the Child Rescue Coalition is that they are proactive. They don't wait for these children to speak up. They can identify these, these pedophiles. They can see the IP address that's, that's trading this child pornography. They don't know, there, there's no privacy issues, there's no big brothering. They see the IP address of who's trading these files and they give that to law enforcement. And the trading of these files is a felony. So law enforcement can knock on that person's door and, and see if that person has access to a child. Because the average abuser um, abuses between 50 and 100 children in their lifetime, per, per person, per abuser. And, and the average um, person that, that views child pornography, between 55 and 90% of people viewing it are actually hands-on abusers or will become abusers. And you know, you think that sounds like a lot, 50 to 100, maybe that's unrealistic, but the kids age out of the age um, that they stay silent, or they age out of the sexual preference of the predator. And I was told the story of, um, of an oncologist, a pediatric oncologist who was uh, raping his, his children with cancer by the hundreds. And um, there was a nurse who was working with children with mental and physical disabilities. And when he was caught, they asked him how many children he abused. And he looked outside the window at the snow and said, how many snowflakes are there outside? So this is so prevalent. And I want you guys to know this. And I want it to resonate with you. And I want you to see that the Child Rescue Coalition, in just three years, has found 9,000 predators so far. They have saved 2,000 children. And yes, they need donations, that's great, because then they can continue to make this tool free for law enforcement, but they also really need introductions, which is why I've been talking for way too long, and I'm very aware of that, and I'm sorry. But I just, you guys are all very important and well-connected people, so this is my time to tell you, they need introductions. Um, they need introductions to big companies. So for example, um, let's say, uh, you know, because they have the IP address of all, these, um, of all of these predators, they could give the IP address over to um, care.com or Uber, and if that person is uh, filing for an application to work at this company to become a nanny or a driver, they're immediately rejected because they've traded child pornography. Or if uh, Comcast wants to receive their list of IP addresses or any big internet service provider, they can block that content from being shared because they know what those files are. There's, there are no privacy issues. They just block that illegal content. So why the hell are we not doing this? It makes no sense. We have to make these introductions. We have to help these kids. It, it doesn't infringe on anything legally. So I just, I just encourage you, table 17, we have flyers with the, with the list of companies that need introductions. So thank you to Carly Eust, who's here, the, the founder and CEO of the Child Rescue Coalition. She is, she is the real hero, along with everybody at the coalition. Bill Wiltsey, thank you to everybody protecting our children. They, they are the real heroes. And thank you to all of you who spent your afternoon sitting here, uh, listening to all of us talk about these things that are, that are really painful. And I just think, uh, I just feel really grateful to have the opportunity to speak for the people that, that aren't able to speak for themselves. And, and I, I know that all of us feel that way today. So thank you for valuing everyone's life for, for these children's lives. Thank you. Sorry for talking for so long.